In Creo 7.0, Creo Simulation Live can take advantage of using a multi-body part. In this part, we have three bodies. One body is a construction body that was manually created to provide the fluid body for a future fluid simulation. Note that this body has a material definition of water, which will come into play later. Let's create a fluid simulation. For the fluid body, let's pick the body from the model we already created. Note that the material definition was used, so we don't have to take care of that step in our setup. Next, let's create an inlet and an outlet boundary condition to complete the definition of this simulation. Then we click Simulate. Notice that all the bodies are automatically subtracted from the fluid body in the results. You can see this with where the valve is located. Any changes to a body, either by location or dimension, are reflected in the results as expected. After changing the location of the valve, the results are updated instantly. Multi-body support in Creo Simulation Live is for any type of study. This provides a user with flexibility when designing and no need to make additional assemblies to do this type of design exploration.